Hey everybody, my name is Jim. Welcome back to my channel, Retired to Resell. And today I wanted to go over some items that I picked up uh, while thrifting last week. I actually had a really good day. I picked up a lot of new items that I had never heard of. Uh, again, a lot of research though to check out all the sell-through rates like I always do. But I wanted to share those with you. I picked up a lot of shirts, a lot of pants. Uh, we're going to go through about 10 items or so and just take a look at sell-through rates and average prices. And hopefully you're going to find something uh, that you haven't seen before and this is going to help you out. So the first items we're going to go through are some men's shirts. And if you haven't been following my channel, um, I sell mostly men's clothing. I do some electronics, some sporting goods, some items like that, but I focus mostly on men's clothing. So we're going to go through some men's shirts and some men's pants right now. So the first item that I picked up is a really great brand and it's Arcturex. Um, you may have heard of this brand, but it's an outdoor brand. There's the tag there. Uh, this is a really cool uh, short sleeve button up like a vented, you know, hiking shirt. If you see this brand out there, I would just grab it. You don't even need to look it up. I didn't look this one up. I knew what brand it was, but I did want to share with you the sell through rates on this brand. Uh, so for a short sleeve plaid shirt like this from Arcturex, uh, the sell through rate is 82%, which is great. And this item should sell right around $35. All right. This next item is kind of fun. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. So this was a, a new golf polo shirt brand to me, and it is Bogey Brothers. Uh, so they have a lot of really interesting, funny prints, all over prints on their shirts. The sell-through rate is great. Um, I'm going to go over that in just a second, but uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to explain it. I'll just try to zoom in and, and kind of see the pattern here. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to list that one on eBay, but uh, we're going to figure that one out. So the sell-through rate on Bogey Brothers, uh, their golf polos, is 143%, which is just phenomenal. It's a really great, stretchy, you know, lightweight material. And again, they have a lot of really funny, cool prints out there, and they must sell really, really fast. This is the first time I've ever found one and picked it up. So they should sell right around $35. So. All right, sticking with the golf polo theme. So this is another new brand to me. Uh, this is William Murray. Here is the tag right here has a really cool all over print with these bicycles on it. Again, it's a really nice lightweight stretch material has their name here on the back and the little William Murray logo on the chest here. Uh, so again, this was a new one to me. I had to look it up. Uh, the sell through rate was right at 55%, which is pretty good. Not, not great. Um, but I wanted to pick it up because I thought it was a really cool print and I think this will sell uh, pretty quickly. Most of them listed on eBay right now are going right around $30. And I'm trying to buy a lot more of these, uh, you know, lightweight golf polos right now. Spring is coming up and these type of shirts should start selling really fast. But I am still picking up flannel shirts uh, if I find the right ones. And hopefully this is going to be a good one as well. So this is an Orvis plaid flannel. And if you've watched my plaid video, what plaid is this? Does anybody know? Yep, window pane. All right. <laughs> So with this item too, I kind of wanted to show you how keywords are really going to help sell this item. So if this is just a basic flannel plaid long sleeve shirt from Orvis, you'd put in your listing Orvis long sleeve plaid flannel shirt. Okay, so I did that and checked out the sell through rates. The sell through rates on that would only be 45%. All right, so as I was looking at this shirt, it has a luxury flannel tag here. So if you take that word luxury flannel and you add that in your listing as a keyword, the sell-through rate jumped up to 96%, which is crazy. So you can really see how, you know, just adding one word, luxury, to this thing, it's really going to help you sell an item. So again, keywords are really important. It really does help when you find the right keyword to sell an item. So this next item, when I got it home, um, I didn't realize it was a used size. I'm, I'm going through the rack so fast, and this was in the men's shirt uh, section, and I, I just saw that it was a Pendleton shirt, and it's wool. So I grabbed it. But when I got it back home, I noticed that it was a youth large, uh, which is OK. I mean, it's still Pendleton. Again, here's the tag. It's Lobo by Pendleton and it's a wool flannel shirt and it should still sell really good. But uh, again, I don't pick up much youth clothing I have in the past, but it just doesn't sell for the premium prices that the uh, adult sizes do. So wool shirts by Pendleton. Um, I had a hard time finding a lot of youth sizes on there. But um, just to let you know, the adult size wool flannel shirts by Pendleton, the sell through rate on those is 95%. And this should sell for right around $35 to $40, I think. All right, so let's go through some of the pants that I picked up. And this first one, hopefully, is a brand that everybody knows. Um, it is Cool. 
There's the tag, and here is the logo on the back. And inside, a lot of times they have the name, the style name, and this is the Rider hiking pants. And the reason I included these um, is just because it had a hole in it, a pretty good size hole there. But when I was checking out, I decided to just ask her, hey, these have a pretty good size hole in it. Is there any way you can give me a discount? And she did. She gave me 50% off. So I bought these for $3. And I, I'm pretty sure I can still sell these for a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, cool pants just have a really great sell-through rate. So I thought even with this hole, they're really going to sell. And the sell-through rate is 125%. And these cool pants are going for right around $40 to $45, but with the hole in it, I probably will get it right around $30, I would think. All right, this next brand I have heard of, but uh, this is the first time I've ever found these out there and picked them up. Uh, this is Hickey Freeman. Here's the tag. And these are some wool linen pants. Uh, they're dress pants. So I had to do a little bit of research on these just to kind of check out the sell-through rate, what they were selling for. Uh, you know, I, I knew Hickey Freeman was a really good brand, but I just wasn't sure about the pants because it's the first time I had seen them. So when I looked through eBay, Hickey Freeman wool dress pants had a 74% sell-through rate, and they should sell for right around $30 to $35. All right, sticking with the new brands to me, um, this one is Bulletproof. Again, I've never heard of this one, but it was a nice pair of chino pants. Uh, here's the logo on the inside. Yeah, I'm always excited to find new brands. Um, you know, I flip through these racks so fast, and when you see something that you just have never seen before, you have to stop, take a look, look at the sell-through rates, look at what they're selling for. You know, most of the time, 90% of the time, they're, they're not worth anything. But yeah, this one really surprised me. The sell-through rate on Bulletproof Chino Pants is right at 100%. Now, there's not many listed. I think there was four listed and four sold. But still, it's 100% sell-through rate, and the price is uh, right around $30 to $35 again. All right, this next pair of pants is from Robert Graham. And you guys probably know Robert Graham from his really colorful, you know, paisley floral shirts. And those have a really great sell-through rate. And so when I saw Robert Graham corduroy pants, I just picked them up. You know, and here's, here's the inside Robert Graham. I didn't look these up. I just knew Robert Graham from the shirts, and I've sold a couple of those, and they sold really fast. So I was like, great, let's grab these corduroy pants. Corduroy pants have been really good for me as well. But when I got these back and looked at listings, the sell-through rate just wasn't very good for Robert Graham corduroy pants. Uh, the sell-through rate is 29%, and the prices are right around $25. So uh, these may sit in my store for a little while, but that's okay. Um, you know, I like Robert Graham. It's a great brand. Hopefully these are going to sell. Okay, and the last pair of pants I've got here is Bonobos, another pair of corduroy pants. Uh, again, corduroy pants have really been selling good for me in the winter, and um, I'm still picking up a few of them, but here's the tag here. Um, here's the pat patch on the back. And yeah, I've usually passed up on Bonobo shirts. Um, the sell-through rate hasn't been great on those, uh, but I may start looking into them because uh, these corduroy pants, the sell-through rate on these are 87% right now. Um, so that's really great, and they should sell for right around $25 as well. So we'll see how this one does, and hopefully we'll get this one out and maybe check out some Bonobo shirts later on. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you found some brands in here that you haven't heard of and you enjoyed seeing some of these sell-through rates. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you really like to see, the sell-through rates, and if there's anything else that you want to know about some of these brands when I bring them home and kind of do these thrift haul videos. But yeah, let me know what other kind of information you want. Um, you know, I'm here to help you guys. I'm still learning as I go as well. Uh, but, you know, again, sell-through rate is one of the most important things for me. I just want these things to uh, sell as fast as possible and get out of here. You know, I've only got, you can see behind me, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 boxes full of clothing. I don't want, you know, thousands and thousands of items in my inventory. I want to I turn these and sell these as quickly as possible. So yeah, so if you're enjoying these videos, please like them and please subscribe for more videos. I really enjoy doing all these videos and I'm working on some other ones now. So uh, we'll see you soon.